in my pleasant cosmos. I was a happy woman with a dream to serve people as a physiotherapist. Until that day. On the dark and cold night of December 16, 2012, I was brutally assaulted and raped in the capital city of a country that worship women as God. Group of six savage men heinously attacked my friend Arunda Pandey. <laughs> and one juvenile attacker. Inserted iron rod into my genital organs, pulling and ripping my intestine apart. The bus driver drove all over Delhi while this was happening. After the attack, both of us thrown out of the bus to die at the side of the road. The inquiring committee have gathered all the evidence against the rapist and played a major role in this case. Even in Kargil war, I have not seen this much of blood. On 31st August 2013, the minor was tried separately in a juvenile court and given the maximum sentence of three years imprisonment in the reform center. On 10 September 2013, the Sessions Court held all other five accused guilty under various offences. On 13 September 2013, the Sessions Court announced death penalty to all the accused Vinay, Akshay, Mukesh, Ram Singh and Pawan. On 11 March 2013, Ram Singh, who was a bus driver, committed suicide in Bihar jail. On 13 March 2014, the High Court upheld the death penalty for all the accused as decided by the trial court. My Lordship, when a person is convicted by the court, it doesn't mean that he is deprived of using his rights. We have all the rights to be treated equally and fair. Before passing the judgment, this court is pleased to remember the dying declaration of Nirbhaya. I want them hanged till death. I want to see them burnt alive. Uh, the devilish manner in which they played with her identity and dignity is humanly inconceivable. The cruel manner in which the gang rape was committed shocks the whole society. We can't lose another Nirbhaya here. If at all there is a case awarding death sentence, this may be the present case. So this red petition is therefore dismissed. So sentence of fourth with the execution of death sentence. Jai Hind. The four convicted took full advantage of the loopholes in the law. At last, on 19th March 2020, the court refused to defer the fourth death warrant. Finally, 
overcoming all the hardless obstacles ultimately all the four convicts were hanged to death on 20th march 2020 at 5:30 am at dihar jail in order to review the laws related to sexual offences and to give recommendation for improving the current regime the government instituted the committee headed by justice j s verma the committee laid the foundations of the criminal law amendment act 2013 which received the assent of the president on 2nd april 2013 this act amends four laws namely the indian penal code 1860 the code of criminal procedure 1973 the indian evidence act 1860 and the protection of children from sexual offence act 2012 some of the amendments as follows under criminal law amendment act 2013 new offences such as stalking acid attack and voyeurism were added into definition of rape even the threat of rape is now a crime and the person will be punished for the same under section 376 of indian penal code for rape the minimum sentence was increased from 7 years to 10 years under section 376a of indian penal code in case when the rape led to the death of a victim the minimum sentence was increased to 20 years of rigorous imprisonment which may be extended to imprisonment for life or punished with death under section 376d of indian penal code for gang rape the minimum punishment was increased to rigorous imprisonment for 20 years which may extended to imprisonment for life my clothes were short they said took me to pet and left me dead to acid and pushed in a rod how can this sin be forgiven by god a place like india god is worshiped from lakshmi to durga where little angels going through abuse and rape an ugly reality no one would escape it's not my dress it's his mind people like these should be left behind let's get justice starting over a sprinkle I Jyoti Singh Danarbaya